product today, we're talking about aspartame, and uh, that is in a variety of products, uh, and most commonly known is diet drinks like this, that's a diet coke, though. it's artificial and it's bad for you, it's a paleo poison, it's going to cause damage to your mind and cause cancer, the side of the coin is it's FDA approved and it's actually almost recommended uh, to, especially as people who are overweight and need to lose some weight, I mean, it's got very few calories, uh, not many people know aspartame actually does contain some calories and well when you see there's a few calories in here, some of it is from aspartame but the amount you need compared to sugar is very little so that's why it's almost negligible and they don't really count. So is it okay to have? Well there's been so many loads and loads of studies and they've all kind of come down to the same thing and that is that it is a carcinogenic, it is an excitotoxin, it can actually cause cancer and that's not good and so you have to be concerned about that. But the studies were done on rats and rats, they're like this big, they're, they're, not, they're not the size of humans. The quantities they were consuming were a lot compared to their size and for the equivalent we'd have to consume, it would have to be something along the lines of 10 litres plus of diet drinks. That's a lot of drinks, I mean, these are 330 mils. Think how many of these cans you'd have to drink in a day. I mean, are many of you doing that? For it to cause any real damage, you have to have a large amount. The second point is, it could actually be harmful to you if you're one of those few people in the population who have a trouble digesting phenanoline which is the second component that makes aspartame. And the reason is, if you can't break that down efficiently, it can actually cause problems uh, from headaches to liver damage. And that's, that's not good though. So those of you who experience, say, a headache or an uncomfortable stomach, you might consider reducing the amount you have. Say, if you're having two cans a day, have one a day, and then cut that down if that still causes you issues. If you're having a moderate intake, then that's fine. I mean, there's no problem with that. And if you aren't having much at all, then you could even probably increase the amount you're having if you wanted to. I'm not saying do. So, it's good news. Uh, you can enjoy uh, drinks like these without the extra calories. It's the most up-to-date studies and it's been thoroughly tested. So, don't be too concerned about it.